And good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And hello, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes. No citations or arrests in San Francisco where several large sideshows took place over the weekend, including right there on the Bay Bridge. KTVU's Alyssa Harrington joins us live along San Francisco's Embarcadero. Alyssa, how are residents feeling about this latest round? Well, Mike Heather, this is something we're starting to see more and more at wide intersections around the Bay Area. Look right behind me. Tire marks right in front of the iconic ferry building in San Francisco. Just some remnants of a recent sideshow here. Residents tell me they are sick of the noise and they are worried someone may get hurt or killed. Cell phone video captured this illegal sideshow on San Francisco's Embarcadero late Friday night. A large crowd is seen gathered near Pier 1 next to the ferry building, while several vehicles do donuts and other stunts completely blocking the road. Very noisy, very noisy. And I was cold and screaming to my friends saying, oh my God, this is crazy. Neighbor Prasanna Palaka shot this video. She said she was trying to sleep when around 11.30 p.m. she heard the sound of screeching tires and went outside to investigate. Never saw this ever before in person, but I was worried because some cars were almost pushed into the crowd. The crowd went bigger, larger. Pilaka said this continued for about 30 minutes. About an hour later, this happened. <laughs> A second sideshow, this time in the eastbound lanes of the Bay Bridge. In this video posted on social media, roughly 100 spectators were seen lining the span. Some vandalized the bridge by spraying graffiti. A spokesman with the California Highway Patrol said they received calls just before 1 a.m. and responding officers got stuck in the traffic caused by this sideshow. By the time they arrived, the group dispersed. Monday, remnants of the sideshows could still be seen. Aerial video from Sky Fox shows tire marks all over the eastern span of the Bay Bridge just past the tunnel. And in San Francisco, similar marks now cover the street near Pier 1. It's definitely toxic. Palaka said almost everyone she saw was young and she's worried next time somebody could get hurt. Publicity or the fame they get out of it, which is honestly dangerous. It could be fun in different ways, but not really a healthy one. It's similar to something that you're putting your life at risk to just entertain. The CHP said that officers are speaking with witnesses, but at this time they have made no arrests. I also put in a call to the San Francisco Police Department and was told that no one was available to comment about this sideshow here on the Embarcadero at this time. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Alyssa, thank you for that. In the South Bay 